Hey, I'm Andy, and this is Ninja Midori, and I was given the key to try out this game, so uh, let's go right into it. And I'm using a controller uh, so far, so I guess there's, it's kind of, it's a platform kind of like Mario. I don't know how hard it is, but it uh, seems pretty good so far. It seems like we only have a limited amount of ammo for that. I don't know if I can jump on top of them to kill them. Uh, let's see if we can. Nope, that did not work. Alright, so I guess we have to use the ninja stars to destroy them, or we can, we can just try and avoid them, like so. The music is really nice, I like that. Uh, the graphics are, it is what it is, I can't really judge. Uh, it's cute, <laughs> I can give it that. Alright, oh, nope. How do I get more? How do I get more ammo, I mean, uh, let's see. So I guess right now it's not hard, but I guess once I get down to, like, uh, no ammo, then maybe it's gonna be super hard. Or not hard, but more challenging. But right now I just have- oh, I only have one life now, but I have to- I have to, uh, just play it safe, and... So I have no more ammo. I don't know how to get more, because killing the enemies don't, uh, give you more. I probably should have saved it for this uh, creature right here. Let's see if I can, I can. I probably can jump over. So it's a good thing, like, uh, there's no. It's not as hard as, like, I want to be the guy where there's. If I would jump here, there would be, like, an invisible block, but. It is what it is. It's not hard, but I guess it's the first level. It's trying to get me uh, used to the controls. How did, I not, how did I not die there? So I don't know how long I'm going to be playing. Definitely not the entire game for this video, but. Uh, enough to give you a sense of what this game is, how this game plays, what this game sounds like. So far, I'm liking it so far. It's kind of basic, but like I said, it is the first level. It's kind of really long for the first level. Oh, I died. And we were starting at the very beginning. So, so I don't know how we're supposed to get through with only just 10 weapons. Oh, I am. At least we have unlimited lives, so. Uh, maybe for this video I can just, uh, finish this first level, so hopefully I can. So I guess it's, uh, more on avoidance rather than shooting to get everything. I mean, yeah, it's not hard to avoid them, but I just don't know what it will take in the, in the future levels if they're gonna shoot back. Oh, I didn't need to do that. It's, like, one bad thing about it is that I feel like it's really floaty. Like, oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Like, the jump feels really floaty, but I mean, that's probably uh, on purpose, maybe? I don't know. Like, the graphic, like I said before, I like the graphics, the uh, kind of retro in a sense. Kind of cute. I mean, it doesn't have to be bleeding edge technology, so. Let's get through here. We only have one life again, but we do- Oh, I, we now have only six, five, four. I can't hit that. Alright, let's, uh, see. We only have two ammo and one life. Oh, no ammo and one life. Alright, the controls I can get used to really fast. It's just I am not that great of a platforming person. Even though I like platformers, I'm not that good at them. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there's a, is that a checkpoint? Yeah, that's a finish line. Yeah, so we finished with just one heart and no ammo left. So the, the finish line was like right there. So it seems like we can just... It seems like there's only 15 levels. Uh, but let's just go on to level 2 and see how it goes. Oh, invisible wall. Oh. Seems like the music changed as well. I don't know if there's gonna be more than. Uh, oh, there's a bird now. So I don't know if there's gonna be like a different music track per level. If so, then that would be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah. It, oh no, no. The birds are annoying. Ow. Alright. Oh, 
don't know. Like all the, all, I'm just wasting all of these pressure shots that I have. I have no idea how to get more. And wow, that was easy. That was easier than the first one, honestly. Like I still have two hearts. I still have six ammo. So maybe I get a different color if I do it without taking damage or something. I don't know. Let's just do one more. Uh, see how it goes for this video. Because I, I don't really want to spoil this. It's uh, it's on Steam, and I'll link to it in the description down below for those that are interested. Oh, come on, I'm just wasting my shots now. What is that? Luckily, it only took one shot. Is that an ogre? So I feel... So I, I guess this is the same uh, music soundtrack as the first level, so... Um, not that diverse, but diverse enough, I guess. At least it's not like the same one over and over. So at least the ogre doesn't attack with the clubs or home in on me. It, it has a set uh, pattern. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I walked into it. I, I jumped. I, I so jumped. Oh, so it does swing. Interesting. It doesn't just walk around. Well, that's the first time I've fallen down to my death. Alright, let's do this not stupidly. It's a good thing that even though the animation's still there when you kill them, you don't take damage. I've seen games where even if they're in the dying animation, you take damage if you touch them, so that's good. Oh, what? Wh how did I... Okay. Let's just do this. Man, there's gravity. Six shots left. Well, of course I get hit. I have no idea if this is good or not. I, I, I guess I should just go down. That was close. Three ammo left. Alright, there's the finish line. Ooh, not It gets harder, but... Uh, not too hard. Then again, I haven't. I'm not. I haven't played all 15 levels yet, so I can't really say if it gets like too. I want to be the guy levels, but judging from the first few levels, I don't think it does. Let's just do one more because I think I have time for one more. Because if it gets to like I want to be the guy levels, then like this tree would kill me, the clouds would kill me, there will be Kaizo blocks blocking my jumps <laughs> when there's ledges there. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, what is this? Wow. Okay, let's just restart this. Oh, so that's bad. You can't... You can't spam the attack, otherwise... Uh, otherwise, you'll just waste your shot. So, let's see... Is this the beginning of the first level? Seems like the first level, like, there's no new enemies, just those three... Wait, can I go main menu? So level four. Ow. Yeah, this is... that was... I did not play level four that time. That was like level... that was like level one. Well, I... I... Okay, let's get this one more, one more shot. It's like, if you fire it too fast, it, it, like, it sounds like you're shooting it, but it really, you really don't. Anyways, I wasted all my stars, let's just restart the level one more time. Let's just jump off. Alright.
So like, it, it sounds like you're gonna shoot it, but in actuality you don't. Which is kind of, which is one negative thing I think I have for this game. Oh, leave me alone. This is tough. This is done tough really fast. It doesn't help that uh, it automatically starts like that, but dang it. Alright, what oh. It's very floaty, like there's this feels like I'm on ice sometimes, but this is what it is. Oh, I I hit him. That, that thing just disappeared. Alright, let's save our Oh come on. Like I, I shot him and it just went through. Wrong. Alright, one heart, one shuriken. Whoa, something was shooting fire. I did not see what happened. Uh, like, I. Like, when I die. Because I. When I die, I held right, and it automatically loses me a life because of that. The enemies start way too soon. Because I have no time to depress the right button. So anyways, that's uh, this is not the most perfect game in the world, but it's still entertaining. Uh, I didn't like that when I shot the green thing, it didn't kill it, but uh, it's a bug or something. Oh come on. Cause like when I hold right it- like that, uh, when I die while holding right, it just starts off like that, and you automatically start with two lives. That's not cool, because you don't have enough time to react when you die to depress the right button. So, I don't know if that can be fixed later or what, but... Or maybe it's just like an uh, additional difficulty feature. But it is what it is. Alright, zero shuriken left. Oh, there's a fire. It's a wizard. Good thing good thing I don't have to kill you. Because I don't have any stars. Alright. I don't know how much closer I am left, but Oh, there we go. And that was hard. Just because of how the enemy spawn you either start off with full life or just two hearts, so. Let's just go back to the main menu. So yeah, this was Ninja Midori. It's it's a pr okay game. Like I said, I'll link to it in the Steam. I'll link to the Steam page down below in the description for those that are interested. Um, good. Like I like the graphics. Really nice. You don't need to be state of the art graphics to be fun. I know I suck at platforming, but like I said, that the way that level started with the enemy immediately hitting you. It's a, uh, it's a thing. So controls other than that are fine, I guess. The jump's a little floaty, but overall, I guess it's a decent platformer. So yeah, that's what I thought about it. I there's all obviously more levels to it. I don't know how hard it's gonna. Let's let's just look at 15. Oh, I can't even select 15 just because I I think I have to do them in order. But anyways, yeah, this was Ninja Midori. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.